Hi everyone. Today's agenda is how to do debugging in OmniScript. Before we start, I would let you know that uh, I'm going to start with the development crash course. And uh, if you are interested in that, please note down these details where you could register yourself. So let's quickly begin with our today's agenda. So you might have seen my previous video. If not, please go and see that video. I'm going to do the exact same thing. What I'm going to do is, from the contact, we are going to open a custom screen, which will show that, which will show the that contact account details. So we are going to uh, have a screen in which we are going to make some fields, and those fields are of account object, and they will be pre-populated. So how am I going to do that? First of all, I'm going to. Uh, create a new Omni script. So I would say Omni script. I would name it as debug Omni script. Same thing I'll be doing here. First of all, I'll be getting the contact ID display, displayed here, going to the data raptor and getting the value. So first of all, let me add a text block in this step. What was the name? The name of the parameter that we were passing was con ID. Okay. The next step that we are doing is extract data raptor. What's the name? Get account details. What are we passing here? We are passing the contact ID. What was the name? Input parameter name in this data raptor. Which data raptor I'm talking about? This one. So the input parameter name was contact ID. So that's what I've passed here. And then I'm going to pre-populate the fields. Which fields? The one that I'll be creating now. So let me add a step. Okay, the first field is, so let me go to the data raptor. Get account details. Output. What's the name? Account name, ACC name, right? So I go here. I would say ACC name. Label, I can give anything. I'll just take two fields for now. Next is annual revenue. Again, I'll go to the data raptor. What's the name? ANN revenue, right? So I need to copy the exact name. ANN revenue. Label, I would say annual revenue. Because I've named it same as the output JSON path of the data raptor, it should automatically pre-populate with the values that we get. Let me activate this. Now I'll go to the flex card. And from my previous video, I already had a flex card. Its name was uh, pass a contact ID. Here it is. This was opening the Omni script account operations, but this time I'm, I have to use debug Omni script, right? So I'll deactivate and change the Omni script. Debug Omni script. Parameter would be again the same. 
C underscore underscore con ID and I'm passing the current records ID in that. So I'm activating it. Now I go here and I open the contact record. This is that contact that I'm taking. Refresh. Contact ID is coming correct. Now my field should also be pre-populated with the account, but it is not. So now let's say I want to debug and I want to find out what is the issue. So what do I do? So how to check this? So let's go to our Omni script first of all, which is debug OS. Let's do preview. From here, we need to check. Okay. But the issue in that is contact ID we were passing from our flex card, right? So here, obviously, the contact ID would be blank. And if the contact ID is blank, how would it pass the ID to the data raptor and get the values accordingly, right? So what we could do is there are two options. I'm going to show you the first option first. I go to the design. Just for debugging purpose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use set value. Using the set value, I'll hard code the value of a particular contact just to find out what is the issue. So I go here. I get the contacts ID. And con ID. That's the name, right? And I would say this is the contact ID. Save it. Now, instead of activating it, I would click on preview. You can activate and preview as well. That's not a problem. So see, because I hard-coded a value using set values, I could see con ID is this. If I remove that, right, then this con ID would become blank. So I won't delete the set value. This is the first option how you could set a value. Or... The second option is delete the set values. If I do preview now, you could see con ID is blank. Right? It is blank over here. Yeah, it is blank. Okay. Here also we don't have the con ID. So the next option that we have for passing the contact ID is What we could do is we could use the contact context ID, but I'm not sure will it work or not. Uh, because no, it won't work. Okay, no, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, you can just ignore the part that I said before. We could do what we could do is we are going to use set values itself to hard code the ID of the contact con id the value would be this id save and preview okay so now we have the contact id now what i'm going to do next is this is the action debugger so whenever it goes to a particular data raptor, you have to come to the action debugger and you will find out whether it went to that data raptor or no. When I do next, you will see that yes, it did go to the data raptor. Let me expand this. The input parameters that I passed, I could see it in the request data. So I would expand that. And here is the root cause. So the contact ID parameter that we have got passed as null. So now we know, okay, what is the issue? Why it did not get me the values? In response that we have, it is blank, right? So now we know the issue. So let's go and find out what exactly happened. So I go here. So there is an issue over here, right? Because in the data raptor itself, 
the contact id variable that i'm passing its value is going as null so it's somehow not able to catch the value in this so i could think of that we should not be writing percentage percentage over here we should directly write the value so i've done the change now i'll do preview i'd first clear the log so that the next log is visible to me clearly i'll do next Again, you can see in the data raptor action. And now, by the way, you could see that the name is there and the annual revenue is blank. So at least the name has come. So it means the data raptor has executed with the value, of course. So in request data, this time I could see that contact ID has the ID which is passed. And in response, I could see that annual revenue is also coming and account number is also coming. But then why do we have annual revenue blank? Because, see, this is also how I, I found out, right? That in the response, both of them are coming. But here I'm not able to see. So I could figure out that, that, okay, there is some issue in my screen. There's no problem from the data raptor because I'm getting the response. So what am I going to do is, again, I'll go to the design. So what issue I could see here is annual revenue is a currency field, but I've taken it as a text field. So I'm going to delete that and use a currency field instead. I do have a currency. Its name, again, I'd keep the same as the data raptor. So I go here. Output JSON path, which is an revenue. Copied. Come here. The name of that field will be and revenue label could be anything. Okay. Again, preview. I clear the log so that no mess. Next. This time I could see, right? So again, if I want to see, I could go here and I could see that the input is getting passed properly inside the request data. And the value is also coming. Correct? We are getting all three, in fact. All four. Name, annual revenue, account number and all. But we, are, we have just created fields for two. So, which is okay. So this is how you could debug. And always remember that if you have hard coded the value using set values, you, you need to delete it. So I'll delete the set value because the debugging is done. Now I can run and it will work. There is one more option actually in this. Uh, if it would have been like getting some value, the current record ID, okay? If it would have started with a record ID, then what we could have done is in the preview, we could have entered that ID in the context ID and then run it. Still, it would have worked. But here it was a specific variable called con ID. That, that is why it could not get a value from context ID. But yeah, if you understood, it's okay. If you not, if you didn't, you can ignore it for now. And yeah, so let me activate this now. So this time, let me refresh the contact. Now we could see that the name and annual revenue are populated. So this is how you can debug. If this video helped, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you want to register yourself for the development crash course, please feel free to do so. Thank you.